Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a test of the SLX versus the heat in a boil test to see you know what kind of times and stuff we got from that. And I had it pointed out to me that I left one fuel out. Actually, I left a couple out yet that I have to do with, but this one was isopropyl alcohol. And I used this in the beginning when I first started with stoves because we had it in the house, but it seemed like it was slow, so I never really used it again. So what I did yesterday was I went out and got a new bottle, 91%. That means that it's, by volume, it's 91% uh, isopropanol and 9% water. So I'm going to do the same test again with the little soda can stove. I have, well, the other thing was I still have a couple of other tests. I've had requests to do some tests using alcohol, drinking alcohol. Seems like a waste of alcohol, but I've got to give that a try sometime. Okay, i got to go this, do this quick. My water's heating up. I have one fluid ounce of the isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, they sometimes call it. I'm going to do this the same way where I give the stove 30 seconds to get started. Now there will be some residual, hmm, little yellow, I have some residual alcohol and stuff from before, but I tried to wash it out as good as I could. Okay, that's 20 seconds. Bit of a different flame here. 27, 29. This stuff doesn't seem to be acting quite as well as the other. Let's see if that will go. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 748, 748 for boiling, and let's see how long it takes for run out. It's going, going, hang on, hang it in there, still a little bit of flame, but let's say 12 minutes, 30 seconds for a run out. 
Okay. That didn't turn out so well. Let me dump this out. This alcohol might not have liked uh, this stove. I had a hard time getting it to run in the beginning. It didn't go out, but it came darn close a couple of times. And I think you can see it. It really sooted up the pot. Just about totally black except for the center where, uh, like we had said before, there's no flames in here once you set the pot down on the stove. All the flames are on the outside. So there it kind of shows you. It's just all sooty out there. It's unfortunate. If this had done a better burn time, this would have fit in with my second rule of thumb about multi-purposing your gear but as it was that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in seven minutes 48 seconds and then had a run out of 12 minutes 30 seconds which is the longest time of any of heat or SLX SLX came to a boil from 59 degrees in five minutes and 38 seconds and heat in six minutes five I didn't expect this much soot, but that's just another strike against it. This may be a way for me to soot up the pots for that uh, black pot test. But anyway, there we have it. Isopropyl alcohol. It will burn. It may not have liked this low pressure gas stove versus an open flame stove. But all the time it was burning, it was a yellow flame and there's no real residue or anything on the inside so don't know what to say with that so for you isopropyl users this is the results I got next coming up uh, let's see oh I had people asking me what's the size of this pot it's a, an official Boy Scout pot although I have several different versions of the same thing but it's five and a quarter inches in diameter and two and a half inches tall made out of aluminum I have another test one of uh, my I had a comment from somebody telling me where to get methanol so I'm hoping to go there and score that tomorrow and I'll do a little video on that stuff and I still have a video coming up with using regular alcohol in these stoves but I don't don't think that'll turn out too hot. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, your remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. Nothing was thick and thin.